Last time on this old outboard. There's the rope store that was in the hood. And it's just got roach duty all over it. Maybe not, but it felt like it for a minute there. Something stuck in the high speed jet. Is that what's going on? Rev it up and close that damn choke and see if we can suck it out. for this boat. Something with some freaking guts and a uh, little get up and go. I mean, this thing killing the 30 horse I had on there. But that 30 horse was a little bit heavier too.
I'm kidding you, man. <laughs> Holy smoly. You hear it when I kick it in full throttle, man. It's scary. <laughs> Damn. Keep running good now. Woo-wee. Unbelievable, baby. 135 PSI and a 35 horse carb. Woo -hoo -hoo. for this boat and probably gonna keep this motor on this boat. I can't believe it. I'm freaking thrilled to death. Yeah she sounds good now. I think that's all it was with something was getting stuck up in the high speed jet. Oh, man. <coughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, shit, man. Sweet. I, anyway, I did it again. I'm yakking my brains out. And I forgot to hit the record button. But, uh, super happy. I was just saying the way this whole situation turned out super happy with this this deal and I've got to start looking around for another parts motor and uh, for the other power head one that fits the right year with the right linkage and and everything and uh, and that's gonna be the next project there is a 1975 25 horse on there the guy, he started out at 200, he went down to 100 the other day, he's down to 60 bucks for the damn thing. But I don't know if I'm gonna mess with it. It's not the, the right, it won't fit that 1980 power head. Although I do have the midsection and everything, I, I, can, uh, I can do some wheeling and dealing with it. Anyway, thrilled to death. This has just been, been great the way this worked out. Couldn't be happier. You know the channel.